everyone. We are here with Elizabeth from Erzabeth. If you don't know them, you're missing out. They're fucking pretty fantastic uh, symphonic black metal that I think you'll really enjoy. So, Elizabeth, thank you very much for joining me today. Thank you for having me today. It's a honor for me to to be here and to answer your questions. Sweet. Um, so we're gonna say get Sophia to say hello. <laughs> so my <laughs> hi Sophia. <laughs> I have a cat as well. Oh yeah. But but he is uh, over there. Maybe yeah. he's going to come later on. Oh yeah, he's gonna show up and be like, "Hey, here I am." For sure, for sure, because yeah. he always wants to draw the attention. <laughs> yeah, she's like, "Hey, what are we doing?" Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. So, Urzabet is still uh, it's still relatively new. You all started in 2020. Um. What was what was the catalyst for the band starting? Um, well, at the beginning, we, I mean, uh, me and the uh, drummer, we joined the same band. It was another band, a uh, metal band as well, but it was not black metal. And I, I knew that he was very interested, highly interested in joining in a black metal band. So out of the blue, I met um, Angelus, who is the the um, guitarist and the, um, the composer of the um, of the songs of Elizabeth and we started um, having a chat and we we thought about uh, the possibility of joining in a black metal because Angelus the the um, the guitarist he is very interested in 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 black metal music and so I came up with the idea of um, having a meet with both of them and just to introduce them one to each other. And I was in the middle that day. And in the meeting, I remember that we were talking about music, different kinds of music. And, and I suggest them uh, very, I was humble because I'm not a proper black metal singer. But well, I suggest them to to join a band um, as a singer. Um, but I had a condition. My condition was, as long as I can get um, dressed with the cape and do a different performance, like some kind of drama, um, I'll join your band. And they they accepted. And so then later we re. Uh, recruit um, the growlist. I mean um, Albert, Albert, <laughs> who is the bass guitar, and and yeah, we we did it um, like that. That's awesome. That's super cool. So, did you know everyone like as friends prior to, or did the bring, bring, bring the band bring everyone together? Well, as I said, the drummer and me, we we already joined another band previously, some years ago. And then uh, on the other hand, um, the bass guitar with the, with the guitarist, um, they know each other previously because I think that they met in a in a gig or something because they they belong to uh, to another bands. So yeah, they shared some kind of festival or something, but they knew each other and they got on well previously. So it was very, you know, organic. The, the band, I, yeah, yeah, organic, and it, it came naturally, you know. Yeah. And and for me, I, I have a theory. I don't know if you if you if you have heard about the theory of the four colors. Mm -mm. It, it say that in you know with you working within a team uh, in a company um, usually they want to combine different types of personalities in order to make the best of the team and that these personalities should belong to different kind of profile of people like they are considered blue green red it's, it's not a cult <laughs> it's just like <laughs> Whatever, we're kind of talking about cultist <laughs> stuff with black metal anyway. 
<laughs> yes, so it makes sense. <laughs> but no, I mean that, well, it's a theory that um, I don't know, but it works. And I always say that we belong to different colors. Uh, for me, it's red completely. Uh, the, the best player is um, yellow because he's very enthusiastic. Uh, the blue one is the, the composer, Angelus, the guitarist. Uh, no, sorry, the blue is the drummer and the guitarist is the green one. So we combine and we, my cat, I don't know if you are. <laughs> I now. can hear him, yeah. <laughs> now he's going to come. <laughs> so yeah, we, we met um, to each other uh, perfectly. So I'm, I'm very glad of um, being in that band because um, I couldn't, I couldn't wait for, I, I mean, I, I couldn't expect more um, because sometimes it's, it's quite uh, difficult to, you know, to match with people with different personalities, different egos as well. Yeah. And yeah, it's, it's, it's not easy because it's, it's like a family, but you have to, you know, to hand, handle with little stuff you know and sometimes like white gloves you sometimes it it needs to be very uh handled delicately exactly exactly yeah with no yes um yeah sometimes you you have to um especially me I, i'm always or i'm i try to be more like softer but I can because I've, I'm very direct you know sometimes and especially on whatsapp on no social networks sometimes I, I I'm misunderstood because the way I express myself it's not very you know not very nice but I'm it's no <laughs> it's not my fault it's just because the words cannot express my feelings well Yes. Yeah. I, I completely understand. So maybe you should really dig into that and be like the really mean person and like <laughs> rawr on everyone. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then that's why sometimes uh, we prefer to, or maybe to send a uh, voice notes because you can see, you know, the, the, the melody inflections. of the voice, the inflections, yeah. and it's not the same, like reading the text um, directly without you know emojis and things like that yeah well you know that's the the bad thing with text is however you think they're going to respond that's how you read it you know so if you think they're going to be aggressive like you have that in your head and then it's like a big fight and it's like hold on like <laughs> i i was just trying to explain something i wasn't trying to cause a fight what the hell's going on you exactly know? so absolutely so i think that these kind of messages are good to to agree in the time of the rehearsals and things like that but very specific um, communication yeah um, otherwise it's it could be a mess you know for sure <laughs> so you guys are four years in you've released an ep and now the full length yeah. um 650 yeah, it's named like that. <laughs> yeah, what a what a cool like concept behind that. What what made you go, hey, let's let's write all about this noble who killed all these people. Um, well, at the beginning when we when we created the band, we had in mind um the idea to pay tribute to to the countess from the very beginning. But it was not just um, but named the band like Elizabeth. Yeah. Um, we wanted to go further in in terms like um, to for me as the singer uh, to try to play the role as the countess. So our our project is more um, focused on imagine in case that the countess uh, join a band, how the band should be or um, you know, look uh, look like, you know? Yeah. Um, so it's it's our main idea when we when we decided to to create the band. And so everything, the lyrics, you know, and all the drama things and all the stuff we we 
we use on stage um, in live uh, gigs uh, is about the, the, the imagination or the things or the sets, the setting uh, about the, the countess. So yeah, it, it's more than, you know, to play the role. So we play the music, but we, or at least I am try to play the role as the countess um, um, would be a singer. Yeah, that like that's really cool. I like when bands bring in the theatrics into the live setting. No, don't get me wrong. I like when a band just plays the music also, but it's cool when you can bring the theatrics into the live show and it's done well, you yeah. know? I think sometimes it's hard to get that to to really translate to the audience. Mm, but um, I think that the most attractive of uh, when you when you are trying to to show more than a song on your performance is the fact that you maybe can can convince or can seduce the audience who are not uh, who is not um, into familiar. black metal exactly black metal music or who is not familiar to to this kind of music just because the the show you know and yeah it, it usually happens to us that people came to just to you know the the relatives or something uh, who want to to go to the concert and then they say oh um for me it's not my kind of music but I has I have to admit that yes, it's it's quite cool to see you know um, because it it's like a play, more or less because our shows are structured in more or less three acts, three different acts. Uh, so we we perform in in the, we, I had to um, to change my clothes and you know all the stuff. So it's I consider it like a play. Yeah. That's very theatrical. Mm -hmm. So yeah. when you when you all play live, um, obviously, right, the equipment plays a, a pretty significant amount of space. What other, you know, what what other items do you guys bring on stage? Obviously, you're changing clothes. Do you have like, um, you know, did you design like a whole stage set up with like buildings or trees or anything? I would love to do that, but we have no money. <laughs> we have no budget. Yeah. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Cross fingers and let's uh, let's hope for the best. Uh, but yeah, um, up to now we 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 have to to it's more or less like do it yourself stuff. Yeah. And yeah, because of the low budget, and yeah, we we bring some candles and things like that just to give the the Set you know the ambience exactly the ambience and then i um well i i came the idea of uh why not we bring a mirror you know and i comb my hair while the blast beats are blah, 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 in the background <laughs> so it's quite mad and especially this part of the show usually it's like blows the the audience mind you know yeah yeah, yeah that's cool so how so how many times have you all played out at this point um everything because we we have changed a bit from the the ep we obviously the the songs mm, uh, have a different show or performance. Mm -hmm. um, so we plan the set list according to the performance uh, of the sh of the every song that we are going to play. So um, we have to follow more or less one guidelines, but improvisation can can occur. So yeah, yeah. and. Uh, I, I don't know if I'm answering your question, but <laughs> no. no, I I don't think I phrased it correctly. Uh, how many like how many shows have you all played? Oh, um, maybe six, seven. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> um, maybe yes, more than six, but less than ten, maybe around nine. Okay. So we yeah. yeah, we are newcomers. <laughs> Yeah. But yeah. So, we, 
we are looking sorry we, we are looking for more shows in fact this weekend we are going to play um another time around in portugal which mm, it's a country that uh we are mm, we love um, because it's they they really respect musicians mm -hmm. they really uh, adore the newcomers you know they are very open-minded um and yeah we, we are looking forward to to go another time in a festival called um lamas in chamas it's a one-day festival and yeah um, so yes we 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 are planning to to do more shows okay. in a short and mid-term yeah that's good get out yeah. play get that that live show together you know brush mm -hmm. your hair in the mirror you know it's like <laughs> no I, i've just revealed a secret because yeah. sometimes people didn't expect to to see that in a black metal concert so they are completely shocked when they see it yeah but i think something like that really adds to like the the dramatization of you know the theatrics overall which is super neat you know and for you mm -hmm. all to think through it like in that detail is you know for me that's pretty impressive because my brain doesn't work that way i'm like let's come out <laughs> play music it's great it'll be fine you know mm -hmm. so you know for you like obviously you want to be theatrical were there artists that you looked up to that um helped guide you that way another artist you mean yeah like like um you know were you like oh I, I really like how king diamond does it or you know the iron maiden live show or anything like that uh no exactly in fact it was an idea that we wanted to just just maybe because uh i wanted to do something different from because i'm not a you know a true black metal <laughs> let's say because the rest of my bandmates are um really really blackers and well don't get me wrong i i'm not saying that i'm i don't like black metal music but I, i'm more uh, i don't know metal in in the genre itself um um appeals me but i obviously i listen to rock music and since i was little i was a huge fan of freddie mercury i know uh, nowadays it sounds super mainstream and things like that but um, um, I when don't i think was younger so. it was no it was not so usual you know and yeah my dream uh, it was always to to sing like not very metal because it will be like <laughs> come back to real <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but i mean the the fact of the the energy on stage you know and this powerful you know and it, it doesn't matter if he were just uh, like a you know some sport clothes it doesn't yeah. matter he could be like oh, very energetic and very and this this kind of um, i mean Frey Mercury and later on i i'm i admire another like uh, bruce dickinson for me as well he's very powerful angela goso from our enemy on back years yeah and yeah this this kind of performers who are um, you know impressive on stage they they look bigger um you know they, in front of the audience so they command it you know exactly yeah. so i had the need to 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 perform like that you know to be acting um but obviously i'm i'm <laughs> maybe i'm i'm not so um magnetic <laughs> but i i i try to yes to 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 imitate some kind of uh, no imitate because it's something that um, comes naturally but... yeah but you i think you start off kind of imitating what you see you know to an extent you start that way and then you you make it your own like i, I think um 
what it, oh people call it rip off and duplicate you know it's not research and develop it's rip off and duplicate and i think exactly yes it's like yeah. a feedback thing yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Probably. the more you do it the better you get and the the things you you change to really make it your own which is you know i th i think a lot of um artists or you know especially artists with longevity that's that's what they do they're like oh i really like how this person did that so let me want to take that piece and i want to learn that you yeah, know yeah yeah it's something that you do maybe unconsciously and just by watching them uh, mm -hmm. because you like them and yeah obviously you you um, somehow you imitate or you tend to imitate but i don't want to be a copycat of my idols I want to have my own personality on mm -hmm. stage. And that's why I'm very critical with myself. Uh, when I watch the videos that people can send me from shows, and I always say, oh, I don't like the movement that I do. I did with my hand or on, on the contrary. Oh, I love that movement because it, it, it looks more, you know, weird or something more. Yeah creepy you know <laughs> so yeah the my objective is not to be you know obviously i cannot be sexy but the you know the mm, the female uh singers sometimes uh, use i think mm, i i don't want to, to say if, if it's good or if it's bad but they use their bodies just to attract people just because the their bodies for me, it's on the contrary, uh, the creepier, the better, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I, especially in, you know, black metal, that's what you're going for. Exactly. You know, you, de you definitely want to have a little bit of creepiness in there, but I, I think uh, sometimes artists do use their body to attract people, you know, and it's like, whatever, it, you either like the music or you don't, doesn't, it doesn't matter how attractive someone in the band is. Like if it's bad music, it's just bad music. Yeah. yeah. You know. Yeah. <laughs> but all we know, all we know that it doesn't matter, but always it works. It, you know. The, no, it the... doesn't. No, it doesn't. <laughs> well, maybe in long if you, term. <laughs> if you come out just showing your tits, like... <laughs> people aren't there for the music they're there just for the tits you know what exactly. i mean but people go to your to your concerts just to see your tits is very you know maybe <laughs> but they're not going to buy your record no. <laughs> you know you may as well just send them a playboy or hustler or whatever like <laughs> here's my you know what's... yeah what's the point of well but some some people use it and yeah, yeah we are in uh uh 21 21st century but yeah yeah i mean look at uh peter Steele. you know he of course typo negative was super cool and even when he did the the play girl with his yeah, schlong got... hanging out yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> i don't think it brought them more fans they were just like cool maybe among girls maybe maybe yeah. Maybe. yeah i guess guys are a, a lot more like take my money please you know <laughs> like <laughs> but well they were a very cool band and i think they they didn't uh, need this kind of uh sure you know... yeah but i think good bands don't need that like uh shtick you know no. like when you have good music and you know theatrics and whatnot and you can attract the crowd just on your merit alone that's you know i think that's where where bands want to be and uh that's what helps solidify the longevity so you're not you know five years okay we quit you know you're 20 25 well like king diamonds what 40 hmm. 40 something years at this point of performing so Time will tell. <laughs> yeah, time will tell for sure. Uh, do so. Obviously, you guys have in the short and the midterm. You have shows planned. Uh, obviously, like going to Portugal and whatnot. Do you all have plans to go over to Europe and you know spend some time in Europe or come over to the states or anything? Uh, 
Uh, there's some um, disconnected, but I, I missed some words from your question. Can you repeat it, please? Yeah. Um, do, do you all have plans to go over to like Europe or come over to the States or anything like that with the live show? Oh, I, I will love, I, we will love all the band because I'm mm, speaking on behalf of the band, uh, but we love to, to go abroad, obviously. Um, so far, we have done just uh, Portugal and we, we had the opportunity last year and this year as well, we repeat, but um, obviously we, we are, will be, mm, you know, delighted to to come to United States but we don't we don't know how to do it exactly because obviously we have uh, our own jobs and maybe especially in summer um, will be easier but throughout the year <laughs> you know it's it's quite hard to to fit the, the agendas, but we will love. So if you have some suggestion, we are open to go there. <laughs> okay. It, I, I'm told it's not cheap to come over here. Uh, I guess so. I guess so. So just gotta, I guess, prepare for that. I don't, I don't, you know, I don't know what that, what that looks like for a band. Um, yeah. I mean, of course with visas and the working visa and all that good stuff, like, mm. Hmm. I'm sure that could add up quick. Um, I guess first step might be just finding a band you want to go on tour with over here and say, hey. Exactly. This would we... be great. Otherwise, it's. Um, I think it's quite difficult to, you know, and obviously um, makes no sense to go just for one show and come back. Because right super expensive so at least you have to be or to have mm, minimum uh, i don't know six uh, gigs on a row in a row oh i think it'd probably be more than that or more than that i don't know maybe here in europe it's yeah it's affordable to to have five um different dates um but in united states it's super big so yeah it's it just, it just going from one side to another just spend maybe one day or more than one day yeah it's it's if you go from the east to the west coast it's definitely more than one day wow it's <laughs> um it's a couple days drive mm -hmm. i think we drove we did it last summer and we drove um about 10 hours a day and we took us about three days wow no, so for now, uh, we have to wait for some application or something. <laughs> yeah, well, so hopefully you guys can can find someone good to, you know, bring you over, like, I don't know, God dethroned or something. Sorry? Because there's a band called God dethroned that I think you guys would fit really well with. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And um, one of um, two of our bandmates, um, they are super, they would be super glad if, if we uh, support um, the Hemoth and, you know, because yeah. they are huge fans of this kind of dethrone. Yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so who, what kind of bands do you listen to typically? Me particularly. Yes. So, um, bands, metal bands, or just bands? Just in general, like what? What do you? Like... Um. So I I can listen to on regular basis Queen for sure. Uh, then Iron Maiden as well. Uh, I love um seventies music, but okay. you know disco music <laughs> just. Oh, dancing yeah <laughs> because i love dancing and i can help but you know move my legs and my body while yeah gloria gator and things like that yeah <laughs> yeah and then i don't know um i i love and i would like to to support um a band from sweden uh called Trebolation. okay uh, i love them um um 
I don't know, Arch Enemy as well. Um, certain things from Behemoth, not everything. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit picky, you know, like, yes, a um, little bit of this, a little bit of that, but yeah. Yeah, that's, that's good though. I think uh, a, a broad, you know, musical palette is, is good to have. Otherwise you get stuck in just a little, a little rut you know yeah yeah and i think that it's 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 more interesting when you blend different you know uh voices or mm, styles um otherwise it's like you say that you um, get stuck in yeah. one genre and you you have to see beyond the box your own box I don't know. yeah yeah it's i think when when you're just this is all we do, or this is all I listen to. It gets really boring, mm. you know, like kind of want to have, you know, I, of course I like death metal and, and I listen to other stuff as well. I really love like Queens of the stone age. I think they are so good. Um, yeah, but you know, have a, have a bunch of different elements. Mm -hmm. It's good. So, so, uh, do you guys have, goals or um thresholds that you would like to to cross or meet with the release of 650 uh obviously like all the bands <laughs> do but um when we we release or after the releasing uh we were determined to to play the songs live and the more countries the better mm -hmm. if we can you know uh trespass the the borders it would be fantastic uh we're looking forward to go to another countries in europe um and well our goal maybe would be like that to to go to this year, because we, we are going more or less step by step. Mm -hmm. We want to be, I think that we need to to have our feet on the ground, uh, but with a little bit of, you know, illusion <laughs> or, or a prompter that you can more or less to imagine um, certain things to, to, to achieve. And one of the achievements we want for this year and the next year uh, will be like a play in germany and in maybe in norway why not because uh, indeed we we have the, um, the our regular label mm -hmm. <laughs> from norway and yes it would be stunning yeah. for us to play there because it's like the 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 cradle you know of <laughs> yeah black metal so well maybe we we are not uh, well welcome but <laughs> i don't i think you'd be surprised you know you you find that i find that people um who are in into music and particularly like the underground and lesser known bands they're very welcoming for for outside bands to come and and play for them yeah uh, uh, i hope so <laughs> <laughs> A little bit at a time, right? Mm -hmm. You'll get there. Um, so what, like, so we got Norway and Germany. Like, is there like one place in the world that you would really like to play more so than anywhere else? Um, well, maybe the, the answers should be a slightly different from one to another but for me it would be for me germany oh okay yeah because it's it's a country that i love and uh, every time i visited i felt very comfortable you know with people and they i think that they consider musicians uh in another with another standards yeah yeah high level standards and yeah, they they love music. They love festivals. They love partying as well. 
Yeah. So I think that for me it would be great. But maybe if you ask this question to um to the guitar player, maybe he would say, uh, for me, Norway or Sweden or yeah. United States. I don't know. So yeah. Yeah. That well, that's why I asked you. You know, I'm <laughs> curious what, what you think, because you're who I'm talking to. Oh, <laughs> this is true. <laughs> <laughs> That's all it, you know, it's always fun though, when you can go and play somewhere that you've really wanted to play. It's, it's so, it, know. it can be a lot of fun, right? Like, mm -hmm. oh, I really want to play this place and then going and, and playing there, you know? Yeah. But sometimes it can be, uh, the opposite because, um, yeah. Imagine that I'm craving for going there. And then if you have the uh, very high expectations, sometimes it's, it can be counterproductive. <laughs> I don't mm. know. Uh, so I, I think that it's, well, uh, expectations are good because they give you the, the energy to, you know, to keep on going. But then you, you have to balance, you know, the real expectations with, the uh, you know. Yeah. Yeah, you have to be ready for um, any kind of reaction. Yeah. yeah, well, especially first time there, it might be yeah. five five people in the audience, you know, and you're like, all right, thanks for showing up, John, Bob, George, and Ringo, you know, like, <laughs> <laughs> here we go. Um, but, you know, that is, uh, that is a, a very uh, real part of being in a band. You know, sometimes packed shows, sometimes not so much. Mm. So, you know, I think if, if kind of like you were saying, if you set your bar low enough, you know, then everything's fantastic. Like, exactly. I just want to play in Germany, like, cool, show up. Doesn't matter if anyone's there. We're in Germany playing. Yay. Yeah. Like, I think that it's like the reviews mm -hmm. of an album. And sometimes when you have a not very good review, you can got depressed. Hmm. I I mean, you have to be like, okay, I accept, I admit that maybe someone don't agree with my, you know, my compositions and everything. So yeah, you have to be humble and you have to be, you know, um, mature enough to swallow certain things. Yeah. Not just with the reviews, but uh, with the reactions of the audience as well and things like that and you have to go um, these things and but fortunately i think that we are um, we are older enough <laughs> uh, i didn't want to say that we are old but yeah we are older. all of us are older enough to to go with this thing and so imagine, or I can imagine myself maybe on my 20s and maybe my reaction would be completely different because your self-confident is not the, you know, you are not so confident yeah. and, and things like that. So now I'm, I'm quite, I'm pretty okay with that. So, yeah. That's cool. I think that's a good place to be in because, you know, I think for, um, for some uh, media type, like people who do reviews, sometimes they want to make it sound a lot worse than it really is, you know, mm. so they can get get more eyes on their article or whatever. And it's like, can we just like be real and not try to over exaggerate? Like this sounds like twelve ducks farting into a tunnel, you know? <laughs> like, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, what? if they are very, um, you know, bombastic on their language, or some, sometimes yeah. we 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 have read uh, certain articles or things that they are very bombastic. And I, I when I I was reading, uh, I felt that they were not talking about our music because it was like I don't know if they consider us like that. It's like no. <laughs> yeah to you know yeah the bombastic is not too good for us uh, we, we are humble we are you know people from <laughs> not from the streets but, but yeah we we're doing step by step 
things and we are glad we are um, um, about what we are doing so far and yeah we consider our music very you know exportable <laughs> oh yeah mm. yeah i could totally see that well so with did you guys release physical copies of 650 yeah in fact i wrote some of this <laughs> oh it's that is super same. cool yeah i have the cd here but we are planning to um make some vinyls yeah yeah because i am we think that this this artwork deserves to have um its own vinyl you know and yes the artwork is made by a designer and photographer here called irene serrano she's fantastic because she um, got our idea from the very beginning and yeah um in in case that you are asking or you are wonder if this <laughs> is made uh, from um artificial intelligence the the answer is no they are real girls naked here <laughs> From the cover and the person who is with the um, the white uh, blood stain thing, mm -hmm. it's me. So, awesome. Yeah, and the rest is made um, with Photoshop and things like that. It's like fast production thing. But the the um, yeah, the corpses are real. And yeah, this is a very you know um, she's a very talented photographer and designer. We love her. And it's the second time we work with her because the first um, EP that I had it here, I don't know if it will, it's well, yes. she decided as well the, um, the cover and all the artwork of the, you know, the booklet, everything from the EP. So, yeah. That's awesome. So she, mm -hmm. she really gets what you guys are going for in that. Yeah. It That's why we, we love to work with her because um she fall in love she fell in love from the very beginning when she started to to listen to our music um it was like a draft at the beginning because we we didn't have the you know uh, the mix and everything and mm -hmm. the mastering but yeah she she said oh it's awesome i love it so i want to design the 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 artwork and everything for you and she came with a now i remember the first work the first ep it was released and during the pandemic so it was everything all the meetings and everything um online so yeah but well i i, I think that maybe she she had a she, she she could work um more or less more more hours because she was, oh yeah we, we are we're locked we were locked yeah i think every, i mean <laughs> everyone was like you can't go anywhere like shit i gotta do something exactly so you spend you could spend more time doing things like that and more you know thoroughly yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, and I, I think, you know, and that was with the pandemic, I think a lot of bands um, took the opportunity to like, okay, let's create and see what we can do and put out there instead of just going, okay, I, you know, I, I can't do anything. Um, a, we've had a lot of really good music come out of the pandemic. Yeah. Maybe because the feelings that the pandemic uh, brought out, yeah yeah maybe help to you know to express um, our deepest emotions and yeah this could be, uh, you know a, a very good seed to to create music um i think that that when you you, you are super glad you cannot be good at <laughs> or maybe not you know the result is completely different yeah and for it me really as well but it, it works with um when I angry, when I'm angry, uh, or I, you know, I feel some kind of um, rebel feeling inside of me, uh, maybe because this aggressive thing 
um, should be, I don't know, should be shown or should be um, uh, printed on a paper or with the lyrics and yeah. Yeah. Well, you definitely want some of that aggressive stuff out. You know, it. it's uh, the emotions is in my mind, the emotions is what really helps the art um, come to life. Exactly. Yeah. You know, it's, it's like uh, the best way to, to release your rage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Cause in we're all just rats in a cage. Yeah, exactly. Uh, in a constructive way. I mean, you know, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. It's better than going and blowing up buildings and killing people. You know? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> because I, I, I have to say that all of us are, you know, are like um, we are um, we can be potentially dangerous mm -hmm. to the others and to ourselves as well. Oh, but yeah. all depends on how you manage your feelings. And your intelligence as well. <laughs> oh, my cat is your biting cat. me. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to draw your attention. I know. She's like, hey, love me now. I'm like, <laughs> I don't even know. She put her claws in my arm and stuck it in her mouth. I'm like, oh, shit. Uh, so, oh, gosh. <laughs> I'm, I'm curious because my cat has disappeared. <laughs> and he, he was starting meow, meow, but no. Okay, it's it's quieter, so it's better like yeah. that. He's like, "You're busy. I'm gonna go hang out over here." Okay, <laughs> but he could be very annoying, especially when I'm on a meeting and yes. he wants to put them on the table and be like that. And I say, oh. "Yeah, you're like, excuse my cat's butt," you know, like. <laughs> With his ass on the camera. <laughs> Tail up, here's the butthole. Like <laughs> I love the cats because they have no limits. They have no social, you know, constraints. And, yeah. 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 They're just like laying there, like, look at me. I'll look at myself. <laughs> like, look, like, what are you doing? Yeah. I mean, I guess if I could, I probably would too, but <laughs> <laughs> whatever oh gosh okay elizabeth um thank you very much for taking time out of your evening to come and hang out and chat with me so i could learn about the band okay i hope you have a nice meeting and now if you want to know more details about the band uh don't hesitate and you can call us again okay whatever I, you want <laughs> I, I absolutely will. I, I look forward to it. And I look forward to um, what you all do in the future as well. Mm -hmm. For sure. So thank you for having me. And it's a shame that my bandmates couldn't attend the meeting. But well, on their behalf, I can say hello and goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, go and have yourself a great night. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. Bye.